What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. Today I watched a short TED Ed video, and it was about why you can't divide by zero. And it was actually kind of interesting because the way infinity is a concept, and even though zero is a number, the way that the two rules are anything times zero should be zero, but anything times infinity should be infinity. You know, those whole things. I'm not getting into all of that. But it was just kind of an interesting concept, and it made me start to think about, you know, what you, how it relates to Excel. So the thing is, though, you can't, whenever you try to divide by zero, this is the error or whatever that uh, Excel spits out. So if I do equals one divided by zero, it gives me that error. So the thing is, in this situation, what I typically would use is something called an if error function. So, and I'll just write it out, so if error, and you see it pop up there. And so what I kind of like to use is say you had, I don't know, say you started a business and in your month one, you had nothing. But in month two, say you had three. So if you wanted to show, you know, say you're in a business meeting and you want to show a percent increase. In this situation, to show a percent increase of something, the formula is actually something. It's called doing new minus old divided by old. So in this situation, it would be equals, parentheses, new being the three, minus old, the zero, close parentheses, and then divide it by old. So I'm dividing by zero in this situation. And it gives me that error again. So the thing is, if you're presenting this, you don't really want to show them that error, right, when you're showing it to a bunch of people. To make it look a little more neat, if you do this if error function right in front of it, right, so open parentheses, and it tells me the value. Notice how this is bold here. I do comma. So if there is an error, so that div, uh, ex that hashtag div thing that showed up, instead of that appearing, I'm going to make it zero. So I'd rather it just be a zero instead of some kind of ugly, ugly looking error. So I close the parentheses, press enter, and there you go. So even though that's not the correct answer, there still was an error to Excel trying to divide by zero. So once the once it detected that through this if error function, I had it spit out zero instead. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. I just want to kind of show you how to use that function in that situation. I have the TED Ed video in the description below if you're interested in watching it yourself. I thought it was good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.